guy down here. Ta-da! Yep, it's me, Water. What? You were expecting somebody really cool. Hey, hey, I got your cool right here, bub. Without me, you wouldn't even be able to live, let alone do it comfortably. Think I'm kidding? What about ice cubes, huh? And swimming pools? And that stuff you drink hot or cold? What you shovel and shower with? And what you use to, shall we say, get rid of things you don't want staying around? That's all me. So let's have a little respect, shall we? Okay, where was I? Actually, a better question might be, where wasn't I? See, I've been in, around, under, and over the Cleveland area since, well, pretty much since the beginning. I suppose for the record, you could date me back to 1856. That's when Lake Erie was first used as Cleveland's water supply. But I've never really gone away. I just keep coming back over and over in one big cycle. Who's in charge of that cycle? Well, depends on where I am at the moment. I start off here, hanging out in the lake. Then I swing over to this water filtration plant to get cleaned and treated. And it's the city of Cleveland's responsibility to make sure I've got my act together there before sliding on up to your neighborhood. Once I get into your area, then it's up to your local community and you to make sure I'm held, distributed, and used responsibly. Okay, once I leave your place in the form of wastewater, I enter your community's sewer system. The road maps to those local sewer systems look pretty much like they do above ground. And since there's over 50 communities in the mix and hundreds of miles of sewers, I keep plenty busy. So I'm sliding along in the local system until I reach one of these intercepting sewers that connect all your local sewers together. And the group in charge of these is the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District, N-E-O-R-S-D. Although guys in the know, like me, just call them the sewer district. These interceptors were originally made of brick, and a lot of the first ones are still around, even though they were built before 1900. That's one reason why you'll now see the sewer district working on repairing old interceptors, or putting in new ones made of concrete. Altogether, the sewer district maintains over 200 miles of interceptors. And if you've seen them, you know these boys are big. In fact, you can drive a bus through some of them, and there are some as deep as 200 feet below the ground. But when I'm in one of them, that means I'm on my way to one of the sewer district's three wastewater treatment plants. Which one I end up at depends on where I've been. I usually go for the closest. Altogether, these three plants treat about 310 million gallons of wastewater on an average day. That's equal to a line of one gallon water jug wrapped around the earth one and a half times. The wastewater treatment plants are pretty tough on me, but in a good way. They remove any solids and reduce organic matter and pollutants, kind of like a speeded up mother nature. They put me through a variety of processes from screening and settling to biological treatment. Also, I can meet the standards set by federal and local environmental agencies and be released back into the rivers and lakes. Then I come back here to start the big cycle all over again. Oh, by the way, the people who work for the sewer district, and there are hundreds of them, do a lot more than clean me up. They test me, sometimes on the hour, <laughs> and you thought your school was hard. They're always looking for ways to treat me better, which I do deserve, if I do say so myself. They're constantly monitoring me to make sure I'm clean enough to go back to the lake and they're always working on ways to improve the overall sewer system. So, now that you got a better grip on where I go, how I get there, and who does what with me, you can also see why you get both water and sewer bills. Your water bill, which comes from the city of Cleveland, covers the work to get me from the lake to your place, plus how much of me you use once I'm there. And your sewer bill, which comes from the sewer district, covers everything that happens after I leave your place and eventually get back to dear old Lake Erie. So, if someone ever says there's nothing cool about water in Cleveland, tell them they're all wet. <laughs>